So I did several videos. I was having trouble with the laptop. They were cutting out. I was going to patch them all together and they're gone. But the one that was the most important, um, I was able to save. So I'm doing this as an introduction uh, after the fact. <laughs> um, I just, I guess I want to pray first because that's what I did and that's what I lost. So I just want to thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for all those um, that will be here listening and hearing this video. Father God, uh, you know who every one of them are, and I believe that every one of them will be called in to a divine appointment. Um, I, I thank you, Jesus, that you, um, the sacrifices that you did for us, um, so that we could be in heavenly places with you according to your word and that we could come and approach our, um, the, our Father's heavenly throne and we just thank you. Father God, you're just so gracious. Your mercy and grace is just abounding forever and ever in our lives. Um, we thank you that you love us that much, that you, set, you sent your Son knowing that he would be sacrificed and the sufferings that he would go through is just beyond our comprehension but we love you and we thank you and we are always in uh, remembrance of everything that has happened and we appreciate everything jesus that you have done for us so father god as we come before your throne tonight father god um obviously because i've already done it um it was it's your will tonight to minister to those who are bound with the spirit of jezebel and also i believe too lord um that this will be a tool put into the hands of loved ones who um have uh, a, a spouse or a parent or a child or or whoever they love that has a spirit of Jezebel, that they will be able to use this also to minister to them through much prayer though and fasting. Um, a spirit of Jezebel is not a spirit that you can just approach and say, here, you need to listen to this. So Father God, um, I just pray that you would just minister and show them how to use this as a tool. Only you can do that because it's on an individual um, Thing one at a time and so Lord I just thank you I thank you Father God that um, as I surrendered myself to you that your Holy Spirit came and ministered and um, I just thank you Lord I thank you that you are always faithful when I ask and invite your Holy Spirit to come in that you always do. You've never let me down one time in a session, Lord. You have always manifested. You have always come through every time I've needed you and the people that need you because you are the one true God. You are the one true Father of the universe. We are your children and only through you and your Holy Spirit can healing and deliverance take place and so we thank you we thank you father for what you have done tonight ahead of time and we just love you and we just ask that you would send this out lord um draw those uh father by the power of your holy spirit that need deliverance and healing from the spirit of jezebel and we ask this in jesus name and we thank you and I thank you I, it's kind of weird because I've already done the video and this is in the front so I guess it's your surprise now it was my surprise when it happened but I am so grateful I was not expecting this at all I had no idea what the Lord wanted me to do I've had problems with this laptop tonight I'm still learning um, but the Lord has um, been really putting it on my heart to do videos to reach more people and so I just thank you all and God bless you okay 
I'm going to have to remember that I just can't let my laptop go black, the screen. So I'm going to have to move my mouse every so often. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is my first time here doing this. So just bear with me. Anyways, so this is who I am speaking to here tonight. Those of you that are under a spirit of Jezebel. It's a horrible life. It's a horrible life. Um, you hear thoughts in your head all the time. We call it chatter. And we call it chatter because that's what it is. It's these voices that just keep going nonstop. Um, just keeping you in a state of confusion, a uh, state of uh, depression. Um, you're just not you're not happy with yourself you're not happy with anything and you cannot be satisfied it's it's like um even nothing in the world you that you go after you keep thinking that it's um going to satisfy you and when you get it it's it's not you'll never be satisfied um the only way that you will find true peace and true happiness is through the lord jesus christ and he's here and he wants to help you. He wants to see you get delivered and healed from these spirits. So what I wanna to do tonight is I wanna lead you through a deliverance prayer of the spirit of Jezebel. I'm waging a war on Jezebel. Jezebel tried to take me out and um, it was a spirit. It was not a person, it was a spirit. Um, I will not lay blame on any person ever because I have learned the spirit and I see this spirit all the time in the ministry and I don't like the spirit and the spirit don't like me so therefore I want to help you to get free from this spirit I want to help you to have peace in your life I want to help you to not rage anymore it is causing um, a toll on your physical body it's not healthy. It's not good. So anyways, before I can take you through this deliverance prayer of the spirit of Jezebel, I'm going to have to take you through a soul wound healing prayer. And the Lord knows, and I know that he's, he, he's had this whole thing planned out. He knows exactly what soul wound that you have that Jezebel has a legal right to you through. She has her roots planted deep in a soul wound. And I know that you have more than one soul wound. We all do. Um, but he knows exactly what soul wound it is for each one of you that are listening and going to go through this prayer with me tonight. Um, I just see this as um, this is something that we're going to have to do. I do sessions individually, one-on-one -on -one with people all the time. But there's too many out there. There's too many out there um, that we can't do sessions one-on-one -on -one with everybody. So the Lord is saying it's time to start doing videos, Cecilia. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but tonight is your night. Tonight is your night. You're going to get freed and you're going to get delivered from this ugly, horrible spirit of Jezebel. And um, so what i want you to do is i want you to close your eyes i want you to sit back wherever you are get comfortable if you have a tv radio or whatever any kind i'm older and i say radio <laughs> but anyways just turn off any noise that's going on in the room with you right now and close your eyes lay your head back and i want you to take a couple of deep breaths in and out and i want you to clear your mind i don't want you to have any thoughts and i know that this is really going to be hard for you to do and that's why i'm going to pray and i'm going to ask the holy spirit to come and i'm going to ask the holy spirit to pour out the lord's peace that passes all understanding so that you can be at peace and get in that place of rest there's no way that you could empty your thoughts out. I just want you to be conscious of where we're going, what we need to do. And then I'm going to invite the Lord to come. 
and he is going to speak to you. Now there's different ways when he comes and speaks to you. Sometimes people hear just one word. Sometimes you'll see flashes of a memory. Um, sometimes um, you will just hear him talking and telling you things. It's different with every single person and it's different with every session um, because it's a different soul wound and he has uh, ways to go about to, to get to you to show you exactly um, where it is and so I just need you to sit back now close your eyes take a couple of deep breaths again and I ask you Holy Spirit to come right now I ask that you would come to each one of these people Lord you know who they are and where they are you have ordained this this is a divine appointment here right now uh, no matter what day no matter what time they're watching this video it's a divine appointment it is not by any accident that you are hearing this and the Lord has called you because he loves you and he wants to make things right he wants to make this wrong against you right you're his child and he doesn't um, he doesn't want to see you live like this so just close your eyes keep your eyes closed and Holy Spirit I just ask that you would come right now and just pour out your oil um, that you would just pour it out that peace that passes all understanding over each person just let that peace that passes all understanding just fill them around them and in their mind taking away every single thought so that they could enter into that rest enter into your presence and be at peace just be at peace don't try to think of anything this is not your responsibility to figure this out you just rest empty your mind out and be at peace so Lord we just ask right now Jesus that you would come to each one of them and that you would minister Lord through word or vision however you choose but show them where this soul wound is that you are choosing to heal tonight just take your time there is no hurry here I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to pray some of you may already be hearing some of you may already know he might be showing you something a memory but it's not your responsibility to figure this out he when he comes he will bring it to you you will know you will know so lord i just pray right now pray for each one of them Father God, that their spiritual eyes and ears will be completely open to hear and see the things that you have for them Lord, I just thank you, Father God. I just thank you for what you're doing right now. Just take your time. He's ministering to some of you, and you're feeling his love for you. you've never felt this kind of love from him before and his presence is right there with you and you know it and he truly loves you he died for you his word said that if it was just you he still would have went to the cross thank you Lord. thank you Lord so now I'm gonna lead you through a prayer you should by now know where this soul wound is and this is the soul wound that Jezebel has been attached to what she has a legal right to and so I just ask you Holy Spirit to lead me lead them through this prayer so just repeat this prayer after me Heavenly Father I thank you 
and I ask, Lord, according to your word and according to your will, you say that when I am weak, that you are strong. And so I just ask for you to be my strength right now. Lord, it's my heart's desire to forgive those that have hurt me, that the enemy used to create these soul wounds. I know that your word says that I must forgive so that I can be forgiven. And so, Lord, I just ask that you would help me be my strength to help me to forgive completely this person that hurt me so badly. Help me to let go of all unforgiveness, anger, bitterness, hatred, revenge, all the fruits of darkness that the enemy planted inside these soul wounds. Forgive me, Lord, for holding on to these things. I lay them at your feet right now. And I trust you that where I am weak in letting go, that you will be my strength so that this will be complete here tonight in Jesus name so Father God and now I'm going to pray over you so Father God I just thank you I thank you for healing these soul wounds in all these children of yours Lord all these soul wounds that Jezebel created in them to control them with her demonic spirits and herself, trying to destroy them and those that love them. So Father God, I ask right now that you would pull all the soul wounds in each person praying here tonight, all the soul wounds together, they were hurt by a person Lord, and I pray that you would pull all the soul wounds together from that person in each one of them. And that you would just pour out your anointing healing oil over them and heal them completely so that there would not even be a scar left behind, Father God, in Jesus' name. Lord, I know that you honored this prayer. Father God, I pray that you would just minister to the hearts of these people. Lord, minister to them and heal their souls, Father God, as you heal these soul wounds, Lord. Heal their minds and their will and their emotions, Father God. Um, make this a new day. Let them know that they have been forgiven, Father God. They were innocent. They were innocent when the enemy attacked them. Lord, open their eyes and their spiritual ears so they can see and hear. Father God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And so now I take all power and authority that you have given me, Lord, through your name, Jesus Christ. And I speak to every single demonic spirit from every single soul wound, from every single person that has prayed this prayer tonight. You know who you are, and I take authority over you right now. I command you 
to leave and go back to the dry places from where you came from. You have to take every single thing with you that you brought in from the darkness. Every dark fruit that you brought in has to leave now. Any sickness has to leave now. Any disease has to leave now. Any depression has to leave now. Any confusion has to leave now. Every single thing that you brought in from the darkness, other demonic spirits, you all have to go and go back to the dry places from where you came from. You cannot stop and bother anyone along the way and you are bound there never ever to return again in Jesus name in Jesus name. So Father God, right now I just ask that you would send your warring angels, Father God, um, that you, they would um, uh, enforce this right now and usher them back to where they came from. Make sure that everything from the darkness um, that was brought into these soul, for these soul wounds, um, that it, it is cleaned out, that they are gone. They have to take everything with them and um, enforce that they are bound there, that they will never ever be able to return again in Jesus name, in Jesus name. And so now because we know where the soul wound was, that Jezebel um, was attached to, I want to take you through this deliverance prayer for the spirit of Jezebel. So I just need you to repeat this after me. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a contrite, humble, and sincere heart. Thank you for having my eyes opened and scales removed today to the truth of what I have been battling in my life. I was truly a victim of my circumstances as I was an innocent child that was being controlled, manipulated, and hurt through my father and or mother or whoever it was that hurt you, you can say their name now. As they were hurt by the enemy through those that hurt them through or through my parents as did their ancestors, as the pain, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, as the pain and abuse was a vicious cycle that will now be broken over my life and all of my descendants. See, you're standing in for your descendants, your bloodline. Today I take back <coughs> what the enemy has stolen from me and I command all painful memories of my past to be removed forever, never to be remembered again. I forgive all that have hurt me in my past and break off all spirits of offense that I have taken. I choose to forgive my father for all that he did to hurt me, 
Now remember, not everybody was hurt by their mother and father. This is just a word you can put in there. If it was someone else, put their name in there. I choose to forgive my mother for all that she did to hurt me. And right now you should name anyone else who's hurt you. Okay. <clears throat> I cancel every negative unscriptural word ever spoken over my life and all physical, emotional, or sexual acts that have hurt me throughout my lifetime. I break the power of the spirits of confusion, fear, control, anger, deceit, pride, arrogance, and manipulation and I exchange all hurts and pains from my past to be taken by Jesus Christ and forever healed and replaced with his love, joy and peace for the remainder of my days on earth. I command all the effects from serving the spirit of Jezebel to be broken off of me and my descendants forever. I command every demonic influence of any name from the spirit of Jezebel to be broken off of my life and I truly repent for my serving of these spirits intentionally or inadvertently. I renounce all wrong associations that I've had which served the spirit of Jezebel. I repent for all those that I have hurt with my controlling behavior and I declare that I will no longer serve the spirit of the powers of witchcraft from this moment forward. I declare a divorce with the spirit of Jezebel. I want nothing to do with the wickedness of that spirit in my life. And I declare that I will serve only the one true and living God with all of my being. All the wounds that Jesus took for me on the cross were sufficient for me to be healed forever. And I exchange my broken heart for a new heart that is soft, gentle, loving, pure, and strong. I declare that I will serve 
Jesus Christ and his word with all of my heart from this moment forward. I declare I will not compromise my living to any standard below Christ's love, purity, and holiness. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my broken heart forevermore and giving me a new life to serve you with. In Jesus' blessed name, amen. Now just take a couple of deep breaths and relax for a minute, and I'm going to pray a prayer over you. I command all, any and all remnants of the spirit of Jezebel to be completely gone, and I send you to hell in Jesus' name. I declare that Jezebel will not come back on those that have declared this prayer. I declare that you will have an anointing to discern when others are being afflicted by the spirit of Jezebel and that you will help them to get set free from this moment forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And now, um, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. He is the deliverer. And he sent you here tonight or today, whenever it is. And he put it on my heart. And he just makes it so possible that I can surrender myself and he can work through me to reach you and to heal you and to deliver you. And you have a whole new life now. Um, if you need prayer, if you need any continued um, ministry, just message me on messenger and i'll get back to you as soon as possible um thank god thank god i wasn't expecting this tonight it, he's always got nice surprises so lord we just thank you i thank you for this healing and deliverance session tonight i thank you for so many father god that i know and believe will be set free um lord we just thank you we praise you and we just give you all the glory and all the praise forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And I guess I'll be doing this again. We'll see what spirit's next. God bless you all. Love you. Bye-bye.